faster than the fabric of space-time can keep up with it. And it'll just rip. And I'm terrified. Hello everyone and welcome to Discovery Zone. Today we will discuss Betelgeuse itself, a red supergiant located in the constellation Orion. Betelgeuse, the star that shines brightly in the night sky, is an enormous celestial body. In fact, it is so large that if it were to replace the Sun, it would engulf the orbit of Mars and extend all the way through the asteroid belt. Despite its size, Betelgeuse is located relatively close to us, at a distance of 700 light years, making it the nearest star to the Sun that will eventually end its life in a supernova explosion. This vibrant star is known for its beautiful orange-red color and its variability. Its brightness can change over time and, at times, it can even rival the brightest stars in the sky, reaching a magnitude of almost 0, 0.0. There have been rumors of Betelgeuse exploding, leading to a terrifying experience for us, but is there any truth to this? To understand the current situation of Betelgeuse, we need to consider the variability of stars. Stars like Rigel and Aldebaran can have vastly different levels of brightness depending on their size, temperature, and distance from Earth. Betelgeuse has also been associated with other names, such as Betelgeuse and Belgia, showcasing the multiple names and spellings of the same celestial object. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star located in the constellation Orion, approximately 642.5 light years away from Earth. Its immense size and brightness make it one of the most studied and captivating stars in the night sky. While its apparent magnitude can vary from 0.0, .0 to 1.6, Betelgeuse remains a variable star. Comparing it to the second brightest star in Orion, Rigel, Betelgeuse can sometimes even surpass Rigel in brightness due to its unpredictability. This variation in brightness has led to its designation as Alpha Orionis, while Rigel is known as Beta Orionis. Betelgeuse is a standalone star, not part of any larger astronomical group, and it is classified as a runaway star. With a radius approximately 764 times that of the Sun and a mass of about 16.5 times that of the Sun, Betelgeuse is a red giant with a brightness of 126,000 suns. Despite its colossal size, it is cooler than the Sun, with a surface temperature of only 3,600 degrees Kelvin. It is interesting to note that Betelgeuse is significantly younger than the Sun, being roughly 10 million years old compared to the Sun's 4.6 billion years. The possibility of Betelgeuse exploding as a supernova raises concerns about its potential impact on Earth. A supernova explosion can produce light equivalent to a whole galaxy, and if a neighboring star like Alpha Centauri were to undergo such an explosion, we would be bathed in radiation of all kinds. While we haven't observed a supernova in our galaxy since 1604, a supernova eruption in the Large Cloud of Magellan in 1987 was visible from a distance of 169,000 light years. Supernova remnants, like the one left behind when stars explode, can provide valuable insights into these powerful events. The remnants of a supernova explosion that occurred in 292.0 plus 1.8 can still be observed, showcasing the immense energy released during these events. However, it is fortunate that such explosions occur at considerable distances from Earth, as the danger zone around a typical supernova is around 100 light years. Returning to Betelgeuse, the question remains, has it really exploded? While Betelgeuse experienced significant dimming in late 2019 leading to speculation of an imminent major event, it has not yet erupted. It has gone through periods of brightness restoration, indicating a transition to a less active condition. However, further dimming could occur at any time. Betelgeuse's behavior is not entirely unexpected, as it is known to pulsate but the specific fading observed has been unique. Astronomers have examined data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories to understand this dimming phenomenon. They propose two explanations. The star's enormous convective cells create hot and cold areas on its surface, and a cloud of dust generated by Betelgeuse obscures the starlight from our perspective. While the timing of Betelgeuse's eruption remains uncertain, if it were to happen, it would become extremely bright, 
potentially matching the brightness of the full moon and even visible during the daytime. However, even if Betelgeuse were to explode, the impact on Earth would be limited. The explosion would produce a cloud of gaseous debris and a highly luminous core, but the distance between Betelgeuse and Earth, approximately 640 light years, ensures that any repercussions would not affect us significantly. The historical and cultural significance of Betelgeuse is worth noting as well. Arabic astronomers and astrologers played a prominent role in naming many stars, including Betelgeuse. The name Betelgeuse originates from an Arabic phrase meaning the armpit of the giant. In different cultures, Betelgeuse has been associated with different body parts such as the leg of a stag or the front leg of a turtle. It is fascinating to observe the varied interpretations of this celestial object. In conclusion, Betelgeuse is a captivating star both in terms of its physical properties and its cultural significance. While rumors of its imminent explosion have circulated, the scientific community remains skeptical, and Betelgeuse is expected to continue its life cycle for the next 100,000 years. Its variability, immense size, and eventual supernova explosion make it a subject of fascination for astronomers and stargazers alike. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe. See you at the next adventure.